Visiting this place, we didn't know the backstory behind it until we got home. That story included the infamous John Venables. If you haven't heard of that name before, let me give you a brief insight into the story. Boodle, Merseyside, 1993. It was a mild start to February when two-year-old James Bulger and his mom went to a shopping center. That same day, James's mom didn't know what would happen next. As she was looking in a butcher shop, James was gone in the blink of an eye, nowhere to be seen. That's when two young boys named Robert Thompson and John Venables grabbed their target's hand and led him out of the shopping center to the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, where there were railway tracks. For more details on what happened, check the link below in the description. Now, what connection does this place have to John Venables? Well, after the crime he committed, he was sent to this place, a juvenile detention center, where youths accused of crimes, including murder, rape, and arson, were locked up from 1965 up until the facility's closure in 2015. This is where John Venables would spend eight years of his life, later being released on a life license. At the age of 17, he was engaged in a relationship with a female employee at this place. Since then, he has been in no endless trouble being involved with drugs and drinking. The exploration itself didn't have much to offer, as it was all trashed. But there were still pictures on the walls that the people who stayed here painted. We found some interesting items, especially in the backyard, a children's car toy. There were also pool tables, flags, staff properties, and much more. But again, we went there not knowing the history, but I'm glad I looked it up now. Knowing who was staying here a few years back, it makes you think how close you really are to killers.